Hello, today we're filming Harvey and I thought it would be helpful for all you people out there that are going to have surgery or open heart um, to have a child's perspective on it. So, today we've got Harvey here with us, which is my little boy who's nine years old, who's gonna, who's decided he wants to do a video on that for all those kids out there that are worrying. So, Harvey, how did you first feel when mum found out that she had to have an operation? I, f I found it it was all right because at the start um, she said that she was going to have it later on in the year and she had it earlier on because so they had a space to so go so she went in and she had a private room and she went into a, a private room and we looked it out it was a, a good room so I thought it was going it was going to be okay and then so we stayed for, there for a bit at the start and then we went and um, when we went, I came back home and we were we were just um, thinking about mum and waiting for her because we told her if she had any problems she could phone phone us and things. So she didn't, I don't think she phoned us that night, did you mum? No, I didn't phone you that night. Yeah, she didn't phone us that night, but it, it so she was okay then. And then through the next couple of nights, she um, she phoned us and said she was struggling sleeping. So, but she had to ask the nurse for a few sleeping tablets and stuff. So you might, so that that might be a bit of a problem, but it it'll be okay. And um, so what's the next question? So what I was going to ask you was, but you jumped up ahead, but it don't matter. I was going to say to you, the day of Mum's operation, how did you feel that day? I felt, I felt a bit worried, because um when. Cause I was worrying about my mum in when she was if she was having struggle, like eating or going for a bath or something like that, or if she could um, if she could move and having struggle sl struggling sleeping. So I was worried about that for a bit, and um, you can um, yeah. So it's just really worrying about if she's okay and things, but that's pretty much it. So what did you do about the worry then? So if this children out there that are worried what should they do I'd just try and like not think about it and do something you like doing and not think about it or you could go you could talk to other people I guess what other people could you talk to uncles aunties people you know people in your family you could talk to those people those are good people to talk to okay and a couple of days after when you came to see me, because you didn't come to see me in ICU, because we thought it would be better if you didn't. I was 12, because I wasn't allowed in, was I? No, no, you weren't allowed in, so that's something to be aware of. Um, How did you feel that when you came to see me? I felt really happy because it had been the first time I've seen her in quite a while. So I was happy to see my mum after heart surgery and see that she was okay and she was uh, fine. So I liked staying with her for large amounts of time, but because of school I couldn't really go for long because I had to get go back for bed and things. So I'd like to stay for longer times, but obviously I had to go back. So it was it was nice coming to see her though. So how do you feel now I'm home? Really happy because I like you at home better. Because I like I like um, giving you cuddles and things. I don't I don't like you when you're in the hospital because I worry about you and things. Okay. And now I am at home. Do you have any worries now? No, because Dad's with you all the time and Courtney's going to be with you and we're all we're all around you. So if you need any help, we can help you and things. The only times when. The, the worry comes in is when we're out and things and mum's at home because we, we, we were me and my sister Courtney who's 17 we were that she's having struggles um, with like picking up things and stuff and she hasn't like fallen on the floor and she can't get the phone to call somebody so I worry about that sometimes but I don't I don't really anymore okay so, so what's your leaving message for everyone today then just to talk to people if you're worried um, talk to like like I said uncles aunties loved ones around you don't keep it bottled in it's not good for you so okay yeah. so would you like to say bye bye to everybody bye and say thank you for watching thank you for watching subscribe